Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk. I'm Heidi Smith, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the United Kingdom. And today I'm going to share a project using the lovely Waves of Inspiration um, stamp and die set, which is, of going to, is an early release from the new catalogue. Um, and what also comes with it, which is gorgeous, are these lovely Waves of the Ocean papers, 12 by 12 papers, and also some foils as well. Um, so the 12 by 12 papers, are basically photographs of hand poured um, acrylics so they're beautiful blues and sea greens so you've got coastal cabana you've got pacific point knight of navy in there you've got some granny apple green and then what you've then got coming in are some more unusual colors so you've got the calypso coral and petal pink in there you've got some daffodil delight in there as well again the granny apple green coming through and the daffodil delight so those are the papers two each of six designs but they are only available while stocks last I would recommend you get them I love them you can also get these foils um, don't doesn't do them justice on on here but you get six sheets two of each color in knight of navy coastal cabana and silver um, now I'm just using the paper um, in this uh, but the foils are great to have as, a, as, a, as an option um, and so Stamp set has got this beautiful wave and the photo, you know, in black and white it really doesn't do it justice because actually when you stamp it in colours you get this beautiful wave here and this is my wave card. So when it stands you get that lovely 3D effect like so. So it's a standard card and as you can see you then get that wave in the background those two at the front and then on the inside I've just done a very sort of se light second impression of the wave as well so that's what I'm going to make a little bit different I think it's maybe there are versions which I think people call fanfare fold I think maybe um that I've seen sort of similar but obviously this one I've, I sort of have kind of like it's a it's almost like a step front card anyway it, it's my waves card so that's what we're going to make Okay, to start off with then, let's get our card base um, done. So I've, I'm using Pacific Point again. Um, I'm using um, Imperial. Um, for Imperial measurements, you want five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. In uh, metric, that's going to be 21 by 14.5. Uh, Just score that in half at 10.5 to create our card base. And then you want a piece of DSP to go on the front of there um, which is exactly the same so 14 and a half by 10 and a half or five and three quarters by four and one eighth um, I just these deep blues are absolutely beautiful like I couldn't resist I have to say um, and I'm just going to pop that there so that it is drying while we while I carry on Give that a really good score look at that i mean beautiful beautiful colors okay uh, quite a bit of die cutting on this um, and i have done some preparation because i figured you probably didn't want to watch me um, do all my die cutting um, so the piece of card you're going to want for the for the front then is 13 and a half by 15 centimeters and on that long edge she says bashing everything about you are going to score at seven at nine and a half, at twelve, and thirteen point five, and then, as I say, that's cut to fifteen centimeters. So in inches, five and a quarter by five and three quarters, and you're going to score at two and three quarters, three and three quarters, four and three quarters, and five and a quarter, and. Then we're going to do our stamping. So I do want to pop a post-it note on, on this. And I have mounted my um, stamp on my stamparatus. So I'm just going to pop this across the front here. Like so. And you can see I've deliberately stamped on here because I really want to line this up with where that wave image is. right up to the edge of that. I'm not so worried about this is the very bottom edge but I want to get it as square as I possibly can. Okay. 
And these magnets are really strong. Um, so I'm just leaving some space. So I'm using um, various inks. I'm using my Coastal Cabana. I'm using some Pacific Point and some Knight of Navy. And I'm using my... Um, sponge daubers and I'm also using pool party as kind of the base colour for this so I'm coming in with my pool party all the way over so I know I've got ink all over that stamp then I'm going to come in and add a bit of night of navy right at the bottom like the deep blue sea just on this edge here I'm going to come in with my uh, Pacific Point next and again just sort of there's that brighter blue in there um, now this obviously if if you like everything to be really precise this is probably not the technique for you um, so I'm now going to come in and just kind of put Coastal Cabana quite liberally on there then because it's been sat a while I'm going to give it a good huff <sighs> so you get a nice headshot of me and then stamp down and all of a sudden we get this beautiful wave now looking at that I think I want a little bit um, more specific point in there so I'm just going to come in my specific Pacific point and just add a little more on the edges there we go and look at that it just adds, adds a kind of depth of dimension to the inside of that wave and once that's done I'm taking that off and I'm going to pop my inner piece of card so 14 by 10 and I'm just going to pop this on that, just that wave bit on the top. Because I don't want a full wave, I just want the impression of the wave on the inside. Okay, probably not quite as much as I might like. So again, I'm just going to come in. I'm not using any of the darker colours again here. I'm just kind of using this sponge door, but just to add, there we go. As you can see there, just a little bit more on the inside. Okay. So that's my front and my inner. Pop my stamparatus away. And now we can crack on with the next stage. So inner and front. And then I've got two pieces of my DSP and I've just cut these slightly less so this is just under an inch so about seven eighths um, 2.3 centimeters um, it's actually by about six inches long um, but I'll, the reason for that is I want it to go all the way across so I'm just going to pop it on the edge there and it's going to overhang slightly and that's fine because I will just trim that off and then this one is about 1.3 centimetres, um, so about um, three-eighths. And again, just pop that on the very front edge of our card. Flip it over and just trim those two bits off. Now, what you need to do now is use your bone folder and really reinforce these creases. So, where we've scored, just go over and reinforce those. So, all in the same direction to start off with. And then we can start to concertina. So, fold that one back on itself and that one as well. So coming on the inside, just really re give them a good old burnish all the way so that they always sit nice. So you've got this effect here. I'm going to do my um, sentiment as well before I put it on the card. And 
what a gorgeous card would this be for a windsurf for a surfer i mean absolutely amazing anybody who loves the sea would i'm sure love to receive this card next thing you want to do is you want to die cut some waves so what i have done is i've die cut one in Coastal Cabana and one in Pool Party. And the waves are two different shapes. See, this one is slightly curved off here. The other one has a squarer um, piece at the top. I put that die down. <laughs> and I can't. There we go. And what I've done is I've actually put that through with some uh, one I've cut one just out of straightforward cardstock. The next one I've actually cut um, with some self adhesive sheet on the back. Now, one thing I would recommend on this to really get a good cut is for you to put it through diagonally. So, what do I mean by that? Um, well, what I do is um, is put it onto your cutting board plate. Now, whichever, and put it through like so, you know, so it's at an angle. Because if you just put it through, you can put it through straight, but make sure you're the next one you put at an angle. And that way you get more even pressure all the way over. So that's my first one. I'm going to do my next one, particularly when you're cutting um, and you've got self adhesive on uh, you know, the adhesive sheets on the back. Um, it obviously does have, um, you know, it adds, adds the kind of depth of it. So um, you really need to make sure you get a really good impression as you go through. You might want to add a shim as well. And what do we mean by a shim? By a shim, we mean a thin piece of card or uh, you can use metal as well. Um, you get special metal plates. And hopefully this one will have die cut out. There we go. Right. So take your die off. And then hopefully, I'm just peeling this off, as you can see here. Put those to one side. Oh, I've got one bit that hasn't quite cut through. I'm just going to take my snip. I would normally have put that back through another time. And they are fine, which is why I'm kind of doubling them up. But if you just pull it away like so, and then just lay that over the top of your first card only one. So all I'm going to do is just sometimes it's easier to pick it up. Right. Okay. And just lay that on the top. And do it very just of just of quite gently and you'll find that when you've got the bigger pieces you can just pop them like so. And it doesn't matter if they're slightly offset because we're going to because they we're going to add a bit of glue on the bottom. Do the same again with this one. Let's see if I can do a better job of, of demonstrating it on, on this one. Um, so let's cut my excess card, get my excess card away first, get my die out of the way. Okay. So I'm going to just pop that out first. There we go. So once I've got that out of the way, that's this one. Yeah, all I've got to do now is peel this off the back and as you peel usually you'll find all those pieces will just pop out as well there we go that was a better one it shows you more how I normally do it okay and as again just all you do is just find a place to start lining it up um, there we go start from the largish piece and just pop that and just don't press it until you're lined up. So again. And if you get any little pieces, poke those out. Okay. So now we've got two of our double layered waves. Now obviously if you wanted to make them even more 
firm you could add a third one I found two was enough um, for this um, and the next thing you're going to that's uh, is kind of um, useful for this is a silicon mat because what you're going to do is you're going to pop this down um, and the first one I'm going to do is my um, wave at the back which is the coastal cabana one and I'm going to put glue all on this side here and the easiest way I find to do this put a puddle of glue grab a bit of sponge and I'm just going to sponge that bottom kind of inch that to one side and this wave is going to come at the top of that middle section can you see I've just popped it on the inside there We're going to do the same again with the next one. So, but this time, now remember, we've got glue here. So I'm putting it further down. So again, puddle of glue. Come in with your sponge. And on this one, I'm really trying to keep it right at the very bottom edge. So it's kind of on those bottom two pieces. And then I'm fitting this right at the bottom on the front. And by doing that, what you end up with is these waves sit at slightly different heights. So when the card is closed, you get that impression. But when it's open, you get a, a real 3D effect. And all that remains for me to do now is to finish assembling. So if you like this waves of inspiration, fanfare fold, wave fold, whatever it's called, then just click on the links below in my um, in the description bar on YouTube. And if you're on my blog, you'll find the pictures with all the links. Flutter by Heidi, you don't need the www, it is just https flutterbyheidi.co.uk. And then we're just going to set this. Unusually, it's not right in the middle. It's in the middle in the top three sections. And that gives us our step down. So when we have our card, that's how it's going to look on um, our mantelpiece or on our shelf. Thanks for watching. Come back and see me again soon and um, have fun creating. Bye now.